we present a new type of display that uses a single projector and multiple planes of water drops to create a multi-layered display. The basic hardware setup involves rows of drop emitters that are imaged by a camera and illuminated by a projector. A computer and two microcontrollers are used to control and synchronize the elements. The basic idea is illustrated in this animation. Rows of drops are released at offset temporal intervals. No drop occludes another at any point in time, so the projector can illuminate the drops individually by displaying a time-varying pattern. As the human eye integrates the falling drops over time, they appear to be two solid screens. The layers of drops are created with linear manifolds of emitters, each controlled by a single valve. As the valve opens, the tube is pressurized and the drops are formed at the emitters. Shown is a photo of one of the manifolds we use, with a diaphragm valve actuated by the solenoid coil, the tube of PVC pipe, and the row of stainless steel needles. This video shows the accuracy of the drop emission. The valve is actuated 30 times per second, and the images are captured at 30 frames per second, making the rows of drops appear floating in mid-air. This image shows the entire setup. Starting at the upper left, the water from the tank travels to the valves. As the valves are opened and shut, the drop emitters release drops into the display area to be illuminated by the projector. The camera is used for calibrating the drop locations. Here is a close-up video of the different elements. This video of drops from two manifolds was taken with a 1000 frames per second camera. When a rear projection screen is placed in front of the left half, the changing image can be seen. We want one layer to be illuminated white, and one dark gray. Every 60th of a second, the projector image is changed, so each drop is illuminated with the correct color. Projecting a solid pattern on each layer is the most difficult, because even minor calibration errors will cause obvious visual artifacts. Note that the dark horizontal lines and the appearance of breaking as the camera moves are camera capture artifacts and are not seen by human observers. Because the projector is controlled in real time, we can create an aquarium simulator where images of swimming fish are generated on the fly. The three layers are each 6 centimeters apart, so parallax is evident as the camera is moved. For our final example, we create a multi-layer Tetris game. Using a remote presenter mouse, players move and rotate each piece. If the player doesn't want to use a piece on the current layer, they can move it to another. The display appears brightest when the overhead lights are off, but is easily visible even when they are turned on.